Healing Garden is a place that families are going to be able to go out into the sunshine and fresh air. Previously, we did not have that opportunity and a lot of parents didn't want to get very far away from their babies and even going downstairs and out of the hospital seemed too far for them to go. The garden provides a place for shade if they want to sit in the shade. There's also tables that they can go eat lunch. Sometimes it helps other families getting to meet other families and providing a little bit of that support. It's just a very pretty, calming, relaxing area to be in. I was called to the normal newborn nursery. A baby had stopped breathing and turned blue in his mom's arms. And upon seeing this perfect little baby, we knew he was in big trouble. So we rushed him to the NICU, where we worked quickly to put a breathing tube in, to do compressions. The next day they found out that he had a metabolic disorder. And then that night, his body just couldn't handle all the stress it had been under since he was born. He'd lose his heart rate. We'd do compressions, give epinephrine, We'd get him back, and 10 minutes later, we'd have to do it all over again. And I remember mom and dad asked me, well, what's next? And knowing what was going on at the bedside and being a nurse for a long time, knew there's no coming back from where he was. So the tubes and wires were all disconnected, and he died in mom's arms that night. As a nurse, you look for any place you can go, uh, empty room, uh, utility room, the bathroom, break room, doctor's lounge, anywhere so you can just catch a breath, where you can collect your thoughts, let your tears flow freely. As a nurse, I see the healing garden as a place of refuge for us as well, before you head back to the hustle and bustle of the NICU. When I went down to see her, it's almost a shock. Um, she's hooked up to all these tubes and wires and machines are all around her and you stick your hands through the holes of an isolate and you hope when you touch her that she knows that I'm her mom and that I'm there. She was tiny, two pounds, seven ounces. Her skin was still translucent. Every breath she would take her chest cavity, would just rise and fall, but she was perfect. She was just perfect in every way. She was stable enough to be off the monitors for a few minutes, and the nurses said, hey, you can bring them in to the door. They have a glass door, and let them, you know, at least see her. So we brought him up and he gave her a hug through the window, a kiss through the window, and that moment is something I'll never forget because after weeks of feeling torn, my family was all in one spot, no matter if we were separated by a glass door or not. Like, I felt like I was finally okay and we could do this. Having the NICU healing garden would have been huge. There were many days I felt guilty just leaving to go to the bathroom. You don't want to miss the rounding. You don't want to miss a care time. Um, but there were days I didn't even step outside. To have a space that's just steps away from your child is going to be amazing for these families. The Healing Garden actually came to life through generosity of all of the donors. This was 100% a 
funded through philanthropy and we thank everybody who donated towards this cause for our families.